Okay, I uh, just decided to do a quick little video here. Um, I don't usually post the, these kind of videos, but uh, I will give it a go. So, the new Alienware uh, 51M. Um, I know I haven't really found a lot of videos online showing temperatures, uh, so I wanted to showcase that a little. Um, so right now, I am running a Furmark test, stress test. Um, we are hitting 12 threads of the CPU. We uh, are running the GPU stress test in the background as well. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just some stats here. I'm going to show you right now. Oh, first of all, I do have uh, undervolt happening. Um, so this undervolt is, I think it's definitely needed. I've applied a negative 126 undervolt uh, to both CPU and CPU cache. And when we run this, you can see here uh, GPU is sitting at about 60 degrees. Um, I've been running this test for probably a solid five minutes, maybe seven minutes right now. And you can see here, uh, my temps max, 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 uh, 81, 80, 82, uh, core three being the highest temperature, uh, recorded. Um, that's on a hundred percent CPU load. Uh, as you can see, a hundred percent, uh, GPU load, um, as well. Uh, I should have said this is the 2070 RTX model um, with the 8700 uh, Core i7. So maybe I should have started with that. But yes, it is the Core i7 8700 Coffee Lake chip. Um, if I remove this undervolt, um, I can safely say that these temps, um, they don't stay uh, under full load 100-100 with the fan. Uh, the fan is max right now, I can hear it. You probably can't hear it in the video, but it is pushing air uh, quite big time back there. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty good with the undervolt. If I take the undervolt off, uh, these temperatures will spike up to 90. I haven't seen it uh, go past 90, so I would think that um, I'm using a negative 126 uh, volt undervolt there again, and um, like I said, if I remove that and go back to stock, no undervolt, um, these push to about 90, 92 under full load, and that's with that's through uh, like doing a firmware test with 12 threads on the CPU uh, hitting plus full GPU burn as well. Uh, you can see here every thread is just maxed on the CPU and maxed on the GPU, more or less, 97 in the 90s. The reason I did want to do this video is, I mean, people, I've seen some temperature videos on YouTube, but when I was looking when I was buying this laptop, I didn't see anyone running, you know, a stress test at 10 minutes or 15 minutes and showing actual numbers. So I just wanted to showcase that the laptop is good at temperatures. I had an Alienware, Alienware 17 R4 prior, way worse. The thing would hit, you know, almost TDWs. It could it could spike up to like 95, 98 degrees. Um, undervolting was a must on that laptop. I think you can actually get away without an undervolt with this. However, that 10 degree offset, um, as you can see here, it's it's worth it. Um, the temps in this, I'm in the basement right now, so the temps down here are pretty low. I would say this is definitely like room temperature. 21 degrees. Um, if you're in a hot environment, uh, it might change. But overall, pretty uh, happy with the 51M. Um, Performance-wise, I've had no issues with this laptop. 
other than some network blips that I've had to kind of adjust and kill the killer networks uh, garbage software that they just don't know. I don't know what's wrong with them, but every time they release uh, that, it's just, it's not good. Anyway, um, thanks guys. And yeah, uh, hopefully this video helps other people looking for temperature results um, online. Thanks.